Hey guys, Naz Desai from nazislam.com and in this video I will be showing you the difference between add path variable and add path parameter in Spring Boot framework. So we will be going through a Spring Boot project. Um, as you can see that um, I have already created a Spring Boot application here um, which is currently running on port 8080 and we will be creating some rest controllers in order to use um, like different annotations such as like path variable or add path parameter and we will know for what purpose actually we use the, those. Um, so first of all I create a um, controller package and underneath this controller we will be creating our controller. Let's say I create a my controller and as you can see that since we will be using this class as a controller, I will add, add, annotate this controller as a list controller. And let's say we have a request mapping for our map controller. Let's we'll start with map. And underneath this controller, we will have a get mapping. So get mapping. Which will um, have a value of add. So what we will be doing is that we will have uh, we are creating a um, URL or path, so to say, which will add two numbers. So let's uh, create the method first. Um, public which will um, because this method will return an integer data type. And I call it add number. It will take two elements in number one and two. And this will return this two uh, the sum of these two numbers. So the way um, actually our method knows about um, these two variables so there should be a way of knowing these two variables okay so that um like from this part we will be adding the numbers and we will have this number in this method in order to sum them up and return them right so this is the way so there are two ways of doing this one is using part variable and the other one is using um part parameter in string group framework um so first of all we will be learning about part variable so let's um I just create a comment with so this will be the path variable approach. So the way we do this is that we put a placeholder like this and um and we'll have a path variable like we'll annotate this um argument with path variable and we also specify the value for this so this value will have to match with this so we are specifying that for this um method argument we are mapping this method argument with this um the variable in our path so in this way um we will also do the same thing for our second argument as well specifying that this number two we are mapping this with this number two um variable here so in this way we are um uh, we are making sure that this method um gets the variable directly from our path so if i save this file and at this point if i refresh our um application to its again um, see that this is building our application. So while this is loading, let's open up a browser and let's change this a little bit. Open up our ATH port. So what we will be doing is that um, since we have the request mapping with the map and then we are adding the controller, the path add here, and let's say we want to add um, 
two numbers such as like two and three, if I, if I hit return, this returns five for us. Um, so this is how you see that like this is really dynamic and that like if I add, let's say, I do want to add like 10 and 5, I hit return, this returns different for us. So this part variable, all this is doing is that this is fetching the variables from the path, like directly from the path. The other way of doing this is using um, path param. And in this way, um, we will be annotating our um, our method or arguments with path param. But in that case, the um, the path will be uh, will look a little different. So um, if I um, specify a controller for us, so in this case, this will take only the the path and not the like the soldiers that we had before, and we'll be adding um, numbers. So let's say add numbers two, which will check just the number one and number three for us, and we will return the sum of number one and number two. So in this case, if I uh, annotate our arguments with part around. And which will take a value the same way as we were putting there before. Um, so, um, with the value of number two. And I save this and I rerun our application. <laughs> so, while this is loading, um let's open up our browser and i create a new tab for us and i write the url so at this point we will um have a url which will query the values from the path so what all i mean is that we will query on this path so with um the specified value so like for number one we want to specify the number for the number one and for number two as well we want to um have the value for numbers such as like three and we divide this num like these different variables with a um, delimiter and percent so at this point if i hit return this will return us the sum of num1, which we specified as 10, and num2, as we specified as num3. So, for example, if I have, num, uh, have 20 for number 2, and let's say um, 7 for number 1, and if I return this, will return us 27. So this is how actually the URL looks different according to using the path variable or the path parameter. Um, like in general, in um, like um, modern screen boot application, actually the developers um, prefer using uh, path parameter instead of path variable. So the reason is that like this can be a little um, dangerous for uh, some security reasons that you can do like skill injections and all um cool stuff and uh, we usually don't want them to fetch the um the values from the url um directly but yeah there are definitely um some like uh, cases where you prefer um uh, but variable over a parameter um, but yeah, this is the um, main difference using a path variable app and path parameter in the same framework. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Um, I will be back with another tutorial later. Have a good one, guys. Bye.